Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and today I would like to explain to you how you can restore a document library in SharePoint. Uh, let me explain to you what this feature is all about. Uh, so we always had an ability to restore individual uh, files and folders, right? In cases where a user maybe deleted a file, uh, that user could just go into the recycle bin and, you know, click on the you know, the document or a bunch of documents or folders, hit the restore button and the document uh, would go back to where it came from, essentially the original document library and nothing would be lost. And of course you can uh, restore um, um, your files and folders uh, from the recycle bin within 93 days. Uh, likewise, we also have a version history capability, uh, which of course allows you to restore a previous uh, version of the document. Uh, if, if necessary. Um, I blogged quite extensively and recorded the videos uh, on both of these features, so feel free to check out my uh, blog as well as YouTube channel uh, for those features I just showed you. Uh, however, you know, in cases where something catastrophic has happened to the library, let's say it was hit by the virus, a bunch of documents somehow got deleted or encrypted, or somebody just wiped out uh, a huge chunk of uh, uh, documents within the document library, um, in, you know, uh, the features we have as far as the version history and, you know, the recycle bin, they just uh, don't cut it anymore. So in this case, we have a new uh, capability, a new feature, uh, which uh, uh, became available in SharePoint relatively recently, and that is the ability to restore the whole document library. And essentially what this allows you to do, it allows you to pretty much rewind to a previous date. Uh, to a previous state of the document library. Now, unlike the recycle bin, right? Uh, anyone can restore, any team member can restore items from the recycle bin. Any team member can restore a previous version of the document or version history. The ability to restore a document library is only limited to site owners. So you cannot uh, restore a library if you're just a regular team member. You really have to be an admin of the site, a site owner. Here's how you do it. Gear icon restore this library so you obviously navigate to the library right uh, and hit a gear icon restore this library and you end up on the screen and you can choose the restore point a particular date you want to restore it could be you know a week ago a few weeks ago i always like the custom date and time right so i can choose exactly the date and time i want to restore now uh, what you will end up uh, what you will see on the screen is kind of um you know, the slider, uh, uh, which shows you pretty much the activity on any given date. So in my case, if you notice, uh, there was some activity on this library six days ago. It just shows you the level of activity, all right, on that particular date. And then, of course, you know, there were a bunch of events that happened 21 days ago, all right? And then down below, it's a little bit more granular where it shows you exactly what happened on those dates in the reverse chronological order, all right? So here is what happened on this library. Uh, six days ago, here is what happened on this library uh, 21 days ago. So to restore the content, um, you can pretty much just drag the slider. Let's just say I want to restore it uh, uh, 21 days. I want to go back in history. Uh, yeah, I want to go back 21 days. And by the way, you can only restore up to 30 days, unlike the recycle bin where you can restore uh, individual files and folders uh, within the 93 days, uh, you can only rewind the library up to 30 days max. All right, so here we go. I have chosen 21 days. Uh, now, uh, another beauty is that um, even within a given date, you can restore a specific, um, you know, you can pretty much um, choose a specific restore point. So if you notice, right, this is everything that happened 21 days ago. Uh, of course, it shows you the events in the reverse chronological order. And what uh, what I, I can do is choose a particular time, a particular time, um, um, you know, pretty much to the uh, uh, to the second, if you will, um, the and, and choose a particular restore point. And essentially, everything everything between that uh, date and time, and you know, today will be pretty much um, uh, you know uh, lost. All right, or will be rolled back. Uh, and for obvious reasons, right? I mean, I, I hopefully that uh, makes sense, right? Because this is in, in reverse from the logical order. I'm restoring it up until this particular time. Um, uh, obviously, when I restore 
uh, this particular time, right? Everything that happened between that time and today uh, will be kind of rewinded, right? Uh, I cannot restore, um, you know, I cannot restore this uh, particular, you know, the earlier version, if you will, without, uh, uh, you know, also overwriting what happened after that version. Hopefully that makes sense. In any case, I have chosen my restore point. Here we go. I'm ready to restore. It uh, gives you a, a bit of a warning message, um, uh, warning me that all the changes after this particular date, which was uh, which is 21 days ago, um, you know, from today, the, the day I'm recording this video. And of course, right, it uh, shows me the exact time up to the second. Everything will be rolled back. So everything that happened prior to that date and time will stay. Everything after will pretty much be rewinded. You just hit restore, and it obviously uh, gives you uh, another um, uh, you know warning message, right? Uh, and then you hit restore. And what happens right now? The library is being restored. It actually goes into lockdown mode in read-only mode. So if you try and um, access this library right now, if anyone tries to access this library, I mean, essentially the users will uh, will, will will not be able to to do anything on this library, make any changes for obvious reasons, right? We don't want anyone uh, to mess with this library until um, you know the restore process is completed. Now, depending on the size of your library, the restore process can take a while. I really did not have a large library, just a few files and folders. So it only uh, took really a few minutes uh, for, for it to be restored. If you notice right now on the screen, um, it shows 100% completed. Uh, but obviously, if you do have a large library, you will uh, it will take some time, uh, obviously, for the restore process to work. Uh, let's now go back to the library and let's check it out. And essentially, what you see right now on the screen uh, is pretty much uh, the exact look and feel of the library uh, 21 days ago. All right, uh, that's exactly how the library looked at that point of time, uh, at the time I have chosen 21 days ago. Uh, and we successfully have restored the document library. A very, very powerful feature. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully it will never come to this. Hopefully, you will not need to use it. But uh, in cases where, uh, again, something catastrophic has happened to your library and you kind of need to rewind it to a previous date and time, you uh, have this nice uh, feature and a nice capability now within SharePoint Online. Right. So hopefully, again, you learned something new today. And uh, as always, I'm happy to see you on my YouTube channel as well as my blog, SharePointMaven.com. Thank you and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.